All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Heat number one, Becky Snodgrass and Ryan McDaniel will have the front row. Vern Spring, Brandon Murphy on the second row, Edmund Jones, Chance Maverick on the third, Matt Moniak and Scott Snodgrass on the fourth, Cody Kennedy and Richie Joplin round out heat number one. All the drivers getting warmed up, ready to go. Pace car rolls out. Matt Moniak is ready to go here tonight. He has got to win his heat and beat Andrew Thornton to have any chance of the championship in the Legends. Across the start finish line, the pace car will dip in at turn three. And we'll go green flag racing here at Martinsville. Hold your breath on this one, folks. Things are about to get wild here in Virginia. Pace car is in. Becky Snodgrass out front. And here we go, green flag is in the air, heat number one is away. Ryan McDaniel quickly tried to get into turn one. Could not, oh, Ryan slips up high, he is drifting back. Becky is around, out of turn two, got loose. Vert Spring now to the lead. Oh no, Edmund Jones is around. Ryan McDaniel's around behind. Mammoniac now up to third. Richie Joplin at fourth. But Brandon Murphy is reeling in. Vern Spring. Cody Kennedy up four spots into fifth. But Scott Snodgrass currently in sixth. And Murphy has the fastest lap so far. Becky has gone to pit road. That looks like she did not go in, just moved off track for a brief moment. Moniac in third is caught up to the back bumper of the top two, but Richie Joplin is right there with them with Cody Kennedy lurking behind. Vern Spring still up front. Moniac may have a run. Murphy has problems out of two. Matt Moniac now to second, but he has Richie Joplin on the bumper. Lap traffic coming into play as Vern Spring goes by. Three to go. Everybody appears to be struggling here tonight in these little cars at Martinsville. Oh! Moniac goes way up the track. Out of four, slips back to fourth. Two to go for Vern Spring. Hey, good evening, Mark. How are you, buddy? And out of four, white flag is in the air. One more time around for Vern Spring. Richie Joplin in second. Cody Kennedy has made his way to third. 
Moniac in fourth, but through three and four, they will not be able to run him down. Vern Spring will win heat number one. Richie Joplin set the fastest lap so far on the last lap, trying to reel the leader in. Heat number two, Ed Sr. back in the car next to Russell Worth. Austin Thornton and Brian Hewitt on the second row. Brad Roning and John Berry on the third row. Kirk Marble and Andrew Thornton on the fourth row. With the Wonder Boy, Jackson McLean, rounding out the field. All the drivers take to the grid, begin to roll out. Russell Worth's first week back after Six months away last week. Had to knock some of the rust off, but he was up there battling throughout the race. Can he get back to victory lane tonight? Ed Sr. has been away for a lot of weeks. Great to see him back out here. Down the back straightaway, pace car will enter at turn three. Ed Sr. in control of the start. Out of turn four they come. Green flag is in the air, Sr. Gets an amazing launch and opens the door for Austin Thornton, but Russell Worth on the high side clears it. Oh, a little contact, and Andrew Thornton is caught up. Russell Worth has towed to pit road. Thornton is back on all four, but over half a lap down. This points battle is going to come down to the last lap of the last race. Or the last lap of the feature to determine who this champion is going to be. Austin Thornton looks underneath Ed Sr. for the lead. Kirk Marble closing in quickly. John Barry feeling confident tonight. Currently running in fourth. Wonder Boy already up into the top five. Austin Thornton out front, pulling away. Kirk Marble now down there. Oh, Ed Sr. got loose in one and two. Austin Thornton has had a problem. Kirk Marble is in the lead. Wonder Boy now to second, Ed Sr. in third. John Barry still holds fourth, Austin Thornton in fifth. Points leader Andrew Thornton back in seventh. Brad Ronning also had problems and towed to pit road. Three laps to go for Kirk Marble. He has a one and a quarter second lead, but that is shrinking quickly. Wonder Boy on the attack. The gap now down to under one second. Does he have enough time? Two laps to go. Can Kirk Marble hold him off? 
John Barry now up into third place. A great start to the night for him. Out of turn four, white flag in the air. One more time around for Kirk Marble. Wonder Boy, the, whoa! Kirk trying to break the draft as they go off into three and four. Wonder Boy is there, but it won't be enough. Kirk Marble pulls off the win. Jackson comes home in second. John Barry finishes in third. On to the feature, Vern Spring and Kirk Marble on the front row. Richie Joplin and Wonderboy have the second row. Cody Kennedy and John Barry are on the third row. Matt Moniak and Ed Sr. on the fourth row. Edmund Jones and Austin Thornton round out the top ten. Scott Snodgrass starting in 11th next to Brian Hewitt in 12th. Chance Maverick in 13th, Andrew Thornton in 14th, Brandon Murphy starts in 15th, Brad Roning in 16th, Ryan McDaniel, Russell Worth, and Becky Snodgrass round out the 19-car field here in the championship race. Drivers getting lined up on the front straightaway. Jackson McLean does not take the grid. Jeremy Edwards saying Richie Joplin for the win tonight. I remember the two drivers battling for the championship, Matt Moniak. And Andrew Thornton, Thornton having to start way in the back after a difficult heat. Can Moniak pull it off here tonight? Moniak is the only driver tonight capable of winning both championships. Would be the first time ever in Jones BS Racing history that a driver has won both titles. Pace car is in. Through three and four, Vern Marble out front, or Vern Spring and Kirk Marble out front. Green flag is in the air. They are down and away for the feature here at Martinsville. And side by side, all the, oh, we've got John Barry around. Caution is out, coming out of turn two. John Barry and Ryan McDaniel, Chance Matterick, all involved. Looks like back behind, oh, Chance had nowhere to go. See what happened with John Barry. Just gets loose. Not sure he didn't get a little bit of a tap. And Ryan McDaniel also involved. Ryan having to check up as they come out of turn two. And just comes to a stop. Looking down from the blimp, and it does look like John Barry just barely got tapped.
Might have even been a little bit of net code at play on that one. Chance Maverick did have to tow it in. He did not stick the landing. Should be getting one to green. Lights are out. They are getting ready to go. And apparently John Barry is out of the race already. Pace car is in. It'll be Vern Spring, Kirk Marble once again on the front row. Hey, good evening, Chris. Green flag back in the air. Vern gets an amazing launch. Now Cody Kennedy looks underneath for second. Here comes Moniac. Moniac in the mix, now up into third. Andrew Thornton up into 10th. And Vern Spring out front controlling this race. But Cody Kennedy just set the fast lap right on his bumper. Cody trying to set up into turn three, he's underneath. And Kirk Marble now trying to work underneath. He'll go to third. Andrew Thornton continuing his march toward the front. Thornton now at six spots into eighth. Oh, no. Several cars caught up and three and four caution is back out. Look like multiple incidents brought out the caution on this one. Taking a look at Austin Thornton back behind and looks like the uh, problems really started up front with Vern Spring. Vern, who won his heat, three wide, tried to come down on the nose of Moniac, gets loose. Three wide at Martinsville, not the best idea. Russell Worth caught a piece of this one as well. Oh, just checking up, I saw a couple of folks hard on the brakes. Get loose, just trying to avoid it. Cody Kennedy out front, Moniac now to second. Edna Jones in third, Brian Hewitt in fourth, and Andrew Thornton to fifth. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem, John. Uh, Moniac and Thornton are back. Moniac and Andrew Thornton, I should say, are the two battling for the championship. Moniac currently in second. Andrew Thornton back in fifth. Moniac's going to have to nail this restart perfect. Lights are out. The pace car about to drop back in.
Pace car is in. Out of turn four towards the restart zone and green flag is in the air and Cody Kennedy launches it. Moniac drops to the bottom. Brian Hewitt now to third but has Edmund looking up high. Andrew Thornton now peeking underneath Edmund Jones can't quite get there. Richie Joplin now up in sixth. As Moniac may have a run for the lead here. He looked underneath. Cody Kennedy threw one and two. Couldn't get it done. Oh no, Andrew Thornton is around. And Caution is out again. Andrew Thornton was around on the front straightaway. Let's see what happened. Coming out of turn four, just loose. And a bunch of checking up back behind. Everybody manages to save it, but a heartbreak for Thornton. John Barry cheering on the Maniac for the championship here tonight. Matt would be the first driver in Jones BS history to sweep both Monday night titles. Now Maniac in second place. Andrew Thornton drops all the way to 14th and has to fight his way forward yet again. Brad Ronning got waved back to the lead lap. Lights are out. They get ready to go back to green. Pace car is in. Cody Kennedy in control of the restart. Out of turn four, green flag back in the air. Cody gets a great launch, opens the door. Moniac gets down. Hewitt tried to look under. Moniac is right on the bumper. He's got to run under Cody. Edmund Jones, meanwhile, managed to slip by Hewitt on the high side and now looks underneath Cody Kennedy for second. Richie Joplin trying to make a move on Hewitt on the high side. Vern Springs still lurking back in sixth. Andrew Thornton already fighting his way back toward the front. He is up to 10th. Uh, John, all I can say is there was a nine point difference coming into tonight as Matt Talcaution is out. Brian Hewitt involved. See what happened here with Brian Hewitt off into turn one. Oh, big loose. And rolls over onto his side.
<laughs> hey, good evening, uh, Tina. Good evening, Kevin. <laughs> Brian Hewitt did have to tow to pit road. Brandon Murphy getting a lap back here. Chance Maddock is in the lucky dog position if the caution comes back out. Kevin, fortunately, no, but uh, my hometown definitely got uh, tore up big time. Looks like they should have gone one to green this time. It looks like they may be delaying the green. How about you, Kevin? Did you get any damage up there? Uh, yeah, everybody I know is okay. The uh, Some of the damage was just a couple hundred yards north of my mom's house. And the house I grew up in was totally destroyed. And anybody else who was caught in all those storms and uh, damage this weekend, hopefully everybody is okay. I know it has been a rough, rough weekend with the weather. Here we go, they're stacked back up, ready to go. Moniac chose the high line for the restart. And he fires out a four green back in the air. Richie Joplin gets a big run as well up on the high side. Richie trying to go to second. Cody fights back underneath. Andrew Thornton now up in the ninth place. Trying to battle Ed Sr. and his brother. A three-car battle for the lead. Richie's still on the high side. Moniac out front. Cody's right there. Now, oh, caution is back out. Chance Maderick, Ryan McDaniel involved. A wild championship race here tonight. Oh, looks like Ryan McDaniel got turned around, came up and collected chance. There's Ryan there in the 69, and just another car gets loose, comes down, collects him. He goes up and collects chance. Moniac still in the lead. Points leader Andrew Thornton in eighth.
Yeah, Kevin, I grew up in Rogers, so it's a... Uh, it's a little weird looking at the pictures. Lights are out on the pace car. Looks like they are going to go single file. That is definitely going to be a huge benefit for Mad Moniac. Here we go. Pace car back in. Less than 20 laps to go. Green flag back in the air. 18 to go at the line. Monia gets a good launch. Richie Joplin stays right with him. And holy cow, Cody Kennedy yeeted that thing into third into turn one. Cody Kennedy really drove that car in deep on the restart. Richie right on the back bumper of Moniac. Cody looks underneath. Edmund Jones and Kirk Marble are coming. Andrew Thornton still stuck back in eighth, trying to get past Vern Spring. Moniac doing everything he can to pull off the win and take the title. Two wide, they started looking three right. Russell were trouble behind, no caution yet. Richie really giving him one heck of a run for his money. Up top, Russell has gone to pit road. Oh, a little bobble out of Moniac. Richie may take it. Richie Joplin to the lead. Matt Moniac looks underneath. Coming out of four, he may have a run. He'll pull up into turn one. Kirk Marble and Cody Kennedy, Edmund Jones right behind. Oh, a car spin. Caution. No, no caution yet. That was Cody Kennedy. We'll take a look at those incidents here in a moment, but Richie back to the lead. Moniac Curley in second, Andrew Thornton now up into seventh. Don, you are not wrong. Richie has found something up top. Kirk Marble now to second. Richie just set the fastest lap of the race. Maniac back to third. Andrew Thornton still in seventh. Let's take a quick look at Russell Worth and Cody Kennedy. Russell Worth a few moments ago going off into the turn just snaps loose. Gets the wall, goes for a tumble, but toes it. He does not bring a caution. And then a few moments later, Cody Kennedy up battling for the lead. He gets a little loose out of turn two as well. He sticks the landing out of the racing surface eventually gets going again. Edmund Jones has now moved into third, moving Matt Moniak back into fourth. Andrew Thornton currently in seventh. The closer he is, the better chance he has of winning the championship. Caution! Caution is out again! With eight laps to go! The 
Becky Snodgrass involved in this one. She goes off into turn one, gets way loose up top. And the whole, the leaders, the whole field comes by. Great job getting it out of the way before there was a bigger incident. Well, you definitely had a good weekend, Kevin. <laughs> Richie Joplin in the lead. Kirk Marble at second. Edmund in third. Matt Moniak currently in fourth. Andrew Thornton in seventh. Andrew Thornton came in tonight with a nine-point lead over Matt Moniak. Neither driver won their heat. So it all comes down to the feature tonight and who finishes better. And I got to tell you, it's going to be a close one. They'll have less than five to go when the green flag drops. Lights are out. They will get the one to green. I fully expect this race to fit, to get a little bumpy in the final laps. Single file on the restart. Richie Joplin in control out of turn four. Green flag back in the air. They are away and Richie launches it. Kirk Marble still holding on in second. Edmund in third. Moniac back in fourth. And two laps to go for Richie Joplin. Oh, holy cow! Kirk Marble into the outside wall. And caution is out. We'll get a green-white checker. There's Kirk in the second place, going off into one and two, tries to go up high, just snaps loose, hard hit into the outside wall, right in front of the field. As John Barry pointed out, Richie Joplin has three wins in 12 starts this season. That is a, uh, let's see, 25% win ratio. Pretty darn good. Nobody else has that many. Edmund has two. All the other winners, just one. Could Richie pull off his fourth win of the season tonight?
Matt Moniak now in third. Andrew Thornton now in sixth. If I am correct, as of right now, Andrew Thornton would win the championship. But if Moniak can pull off the win on the green-white checker, he might have a shot. Richie Joplin will be hard to beat, and Edmund Jones sitting right there is not going to be easy to pass. Chance, I think Richie Urgen is pedaling like crazy. Here we go, out of four. Green flag back in the air, two to go in Martinsville. Richie puts a car link between them. Edmund sends it deep into one. Moniak does not get the start he needs. Andrew Thornton all over the bow. No, Andrew's having problems. White flag is in the air. One more time around for Richie Joplin. Down the back straightaway. Problems at the back of the field. No caution, though. And out of turn four, Richie Joplin will pull it off his fourth win of the season. Edmund Jones comes home in second. Matt Moniak comes home in third. Andrew Thornton came home in sixth. I do believe that is going to make Andrew the champ. But we'll find out here in just a moment. Let's talk to our top three. Matt, that was definitely a wild, wild race, and uh, you definitely fought hard, buddy. I, I did everything I could. Um, hats off to these guys. They ran an extremely clean race. Nothing else I could have done. I gave it, the, gave it everything I had there at the end. I have to ask, uh, it was nine points coming into the night. Did you pull it off, or did it? does the championship go to Andrew? I still have to run points, but I believe it's going to be Andrew's championship. Well, man, if it's not for if it's not yours, I have to say that was the hardest fought championship battle we have ever seen. That was a great run, man. You know the the way I look at it is we put on a show for everybody else. Uh, I mean, for this points championship just to go down to the last lap, really. I mean, Andrew's done a, a one heck of a job all season, Eddie and Richie, and man, just to be up there battling for a championship is a win within itself. Um, We'll have an official points announcement, I would say, probably before the late model race, if that works for you. That works perfectly, man. Congratulations tonight. Good deal. Thank you, sir. I appreciate everything you guys do with putting on the broadcast, and I uh, look forward to the next one. All right, buddy. Edmund Jones coming home in second. Edmund, you came home second, but it got a little spicy there a few times. I got a little close. Yeah, it was a little close. It was some great battling. I, man, it, this is part of the reason why we're doing doing the changes we are. These these legends cars are a class of their own, and seeing guys of the caliber like Kirk Marble just overcorrecting a little bit, and it just sends you. It's it's not like any other car on the service. If that would have been late models, he he probably would have finished second, maybe even got the win. So it's it got dicey. I'm glad Moniac realized that I'm not the same as Cody, and I'm not going to deal with the blocking crap, and gave me the room there. But it was it was great fighting, 
you know, just couldn't get to Richie. And nobody can this season, man. Great job. Congratulations, buddy. Hey, thanks, Doug. And finally, our winner, his fourth win of the season. Richie, your fourth win of the season. You have a 33% win rate this season. Yeah, I looked up and turned it on uh, late in the season. I mean, I think I finished third in points in the Legends. I, I don't really know. Uh, but I take back-to-back -back wins. I won at Hickory, and I won here at Martinsville, so I take it. <laughs> I, and I have to say, and I was talking about it in the comments tonight, too, the way you were driving that outside line on the restarts when you got stuck outside, you and, and even when you weren't stuck out there, you could get out there and just it, you just found all the grip and took off. I really, really, this setup for this car here, I mean, I got to get a call out, whoever done this setup, I think it was Chris, I, I think, but man, he had it hooked up, I enjoyed racing it, it was, it was great, it was good for me on the outside and the inside. Well, man, it worked perfectly, and you got back to victory lane, plus coming home third in points, an awesome season, congrats, buddy. No, thank you, Doug. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. They're going to pack up the legends, unpack the late models, and we're going to go at it again here at Martinsville. Stick around, everybody.